First of all, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I guess Camden, tell us about the. Yeah, I just wanted to get the stick in a good position, just stick in it as long as I could. Uh, don't lose the pack, and then hopefully four to go, make a move. I uh, try to put myself in at that last 150, but just came up a little short. You coming in turn? You think you had him? I thought I did. I made that move. I think maybe too much on the turn, um, but I thought it was a good time. Felt right. Felt like I was making momentum. So don't think I would have changed that. But yeah, props to him. Had a great race. Well, you're the 800. 12. 12. Yeah. It's a great leadoff leg. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. It was. Uh, was that the plan? It was a dog fight. I mean, the plan is to always put my teammates in the best position possible. I think. Every one of us does, thinks we deserve to be in an individual event, but the fact that we are able to come here, show out in the relay, I think put Georgetown a little bit on the map, and we had two guys in the individual race. We just want to represent them, represent our teammates, and just give it a dog fight out there. Yeah, I don't think many people are expecting you guys to win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think almost did. I think we thought of yeah, ourselves. Well, it was expectations as a, or no one doing research? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe research. Not enough research, though. I think we, I we knew we had a case. We knew we were capable of uh, competing for the win, and I think we just competed the way that way, and it kind of showed on the track. Matthew, to that point, the, uh, the fact that you guys knew that, that you were going to have the capability to put out this lane, like a lot of teams that qualified with those teams were not going to run those teams, right? Yeah. I mean, and you can't worry about them, but like you guys knew that you were going to come, you know, with, uh, with with the best possible steering wheel. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we train with the guys who competed in the individual races, and we train every day. It's, it's, we just work hard, so I think. That's all we can focus on is just training the way we do in, at practice and then coming out and see who's on the track. And if it's not the teams who qualified, then it isn't. No, out of our, it's out of our control. So. You guys can worry about Georgetown. Do you think you have like a chip on your shoulder, like not making it individually? Like, um, I think maybe a little bit, but I think we knew we could come here on, on the relay and still compete with the best guys in the country. That's what we came here to do. What did you guys think of your legs? I think it was a great leg. I mean, much of my job, particularly with the 400, was just to make sure I got the baton in their hands in a good position. And I felt like that's what I did. You know, got in front of a couple of guys. So I'm glad I was able to do that. But all, all the while, everybody competed. And so I'm glad we were able to come out in a good position. And what's it like, you know, 400 guy, you get to... You're like a distance guy for like indoors. Like, I'm a different I, I environment. Run the, I'm on the 60 and the 2, so this yeah. is super different for me. But I mean, whenever I'm called up, like you said, we everybody trains regardless of the people who qualified um, for the uh, for nationals. So whoever was called up, we're gonna perform regardless. So that's what I came to do. Insane runner-up now. Yeah, for sure. Like Tim? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I showed a couple of them. I made a little spreadsheet myself going in on who all the 800 legs were, and I knew in my head that I was the best going in. I, I think I was the fastest split today. A little bummed. I think I could have gotten the Virginia Tech guy, maybe give me Cam a little better spot. But I mean, like you said, chip on the shoulder. I, like Matt and I in the eight, I think we're both talented enough to win the eight individually here today, and we missed it by a little more than a tenth of a second. And I think, like you said, that's a chip on the shoulder coming into a race like this against the best teams in the country. We think we're the best, and we want to race like it. So. Yeah, it seems like the depth at NCAA is much bigger. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, the Zimmer didn't make the final today. Yeah. And they, oh, like, for sure. And so five years ago, all of us would be favorites to win events here, individual events here. And, you know, now I'm, I think I was 24th or 25th. It's just how it is. So, yeah. All right. Camden, uh, did, uh, did, you, uh, did you guys di uh, digest any, any of that? Uh, that race uh, last year in, in Albuquerque, I mean, knowing that maybe Oklahoma State's, you know, first three would be different, but Shoppy was going to be there. Yeah, see, seeing Ryan out there on the anchor, I was like, just be ready to go anytime. I heard someone on the first turn go, stick it to him, Ryan. I was like, oh man, like, I don't know when, but it's going to happen. And if I get stuck behind Virginia, I got a lot of ground to make up. So I just well, honestly had my eyes on him the whole time. Kind of like when you're in a traffic and you see two cars ahead. Um, so yeah, I was just like stick on him as long as I could. But the fact that it, it opened up enough, I mean, did you feel like you had the freedom of movement? I took like two to? peeps at the, yeah. um, at the screen and I saw we were spreading it out a little bit. And so I was like, if the race is, I'm not worried about behind me. I'm just like, I feel the wind, we get it. So yeah, just stuck on it, went for it. Have you guys raced in this track before? What's that? Have you raced here before? No, not in the New Balance, New Balance track, but been up to Boston like two or three times with indoor. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good job.